Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install and configure Elasticsearch and Kibana version 8.5. That is the latest version. So uh, this will be a step-by-step -step complete guide in order to install and configure Elasticsearch and Kibana. So in the agenda, we would like to see uh, like uh, what is Elasticsearch in short, then what is the Elasticsearch compatibility matrix, then uh, what are the new features in 8.5, how we can set up Elasticsearch and get it running including downloading, installing and starting along with configuration setup. Okay, so same we will do for Kiwana also. Then we will be visualizing data from Elasticsearch DB using Kiwana. Okay. So let's get started. So first of all, what is Elasticsearch? So we will cover in short. So Elasticsearch is a basically a distributed free open search and analytics engine for all types of data like textual data or numerical or structured and unstructured data. So it is built on top of Lucene and it is released in 2010. Okay, so for what purpose we can use Elasticsearch like for application search uh, website search, then enterprise search, then logging and log analytics, then visualizing the different types of data in the in the format of uh, patterns, then uh, infrastructure matrices, then application performance monitoring, security analytics, and business analytics. About Kibana, so Kibana is a data visualization tool uh, which can be used for as a management tool also that provides real-time histograms, line graph, pie charts, and maps. Kibana also includes the advanced applications. So why, why to use Elasticsearch? So basically the Elasticsearch is a fastest way of retrieving data in the form of like uh, different indices and in the, for, in the form of uh, elastic data. Okay, so Elasticsearch is a fast, Elasticsearch is a distributed by nature. It comes with a wide variety of uh, features like which include like speed, scalability, resiliency and a number of powerful built-in features. An elastic stack uh, simplifies the data ingest, visualization and reporting tool, reporting tool via Kibana and uh, Logstash. Okay, so we are going to check about uh, Elasticsearch 8.5 that is the latest version. So like previously uh, this is the major version release that is 8.0 where uh, Elasticsearch have added uh, REST API compatibility and uh, mainly 8.0 version is focused on security features. So Elasticsearch is enabled with the uh, user authorization, user authentication, encrypted uh, TLS and encrypted communication between Elasticsearch and Kibana with TLS protocol. Okay, so these major security changes are introduced in 8 series and in 8.5 series, so like uh, some minor uh, enhancements are done like uh, speed up SQL queries by tracking total hits by default. So like uh, SQL query translator, they have improved. So whenever uh, uh, it comes to like uh, translate our uh, uh, SQL queries to no SQL queries of elastic understandable format, then they have done an improvement to convert that SQL queries to elastic queries that that uh, time is get reduced uh, to convert that queries. Then uh, there are uh, certain changes uh, related to index lifecycle management. There are changes with uh, item segregations and there are like uh, they have improved the snapshot more efficiently. Like a snapshot now run in a more efficient order required much lesser network traffic than before. So like uh, these kind of uh, new features uh, are added. So now uh, let's move to set up Elasticsearch. So in order to set up Elasticsearch, so these four components are required. Like uh, first we need to download the setup, then we need to install and then we need to configure and then we need to start the Elasticsearch. Okay. So we will see now support matrix. So in order to see the support matrix, so open this link. Okay, so this is the like OS wise compatibility. So we are in the 8.5 series. So let's see if Windows is there. Okay, these three are Windows. Okay, so in the compatibility, we will go for uh, JVM one. So what type of JVM is required for our Elasticsearch 8.5? So you can see the Elasticsearch 8.5 having, which is having like a support for like a, a JDK 17 onwards. Okay, so we either need JDK 17 or 18, but uh, Elasticsearch comes with uh, by default uh, 
open JDK and uh, that in the installer itself the JDK is there so you can install the separate JDK also and you can configure the same okay so you can use any version greater than uh, 17 so you can explore more compatibility in this link so this link I will provide into video description then moving further like uh, okay so we are going to install the Elasticsearch on Windows so go to Elasticsearch uh, install packages and locate this uh, Windows archive so the zip archive suitable for installation on Windows so install Elasticsearch with the zip format so click on this okay so Elasticsearch can be installed on Windows by using a, a zip archive so go, go here like uh, download and install Elasticsearch zip packages so click on this so it will start the downloading so we have already downloaded it so we will cancel this and then same way we need to uh, download the Kibana also as a next step uh, unzip the same with uh, your uh, unzip tool and then create folder this and uh, like you we can use this command okay so enable automatic creation of system indices so this is the optional one if it is required so then we can add this so first uh, we will go to uh, we will see how we can extract the zip and how we can start the elastic search so so these are downloaded uh, zip files so copy to some folder so in my case i am copying into tools folder so how we can download the uh, kibana installer so type kibana 8.5 download so go with the first link okay so like uh, here download unzip uh, download and unzip the kibana so click on this link so it will start downloading okay so in our case we have already downloaded so let's cancel this same way like uh, if you want direct elastic search download link then type elastic search download okay so go here and here let's say download so it will download the elastic search 8.5.3 so we will cancel this for now okay so this way like uh, we can download this both installers now right click on this elastic search 8.5.3 and let's say extract here so meanwhile this getting extracted so you can see like uh, authentication and authorizations are enabled and password generated at the elastic built-in super user so enrollment token will be generated for kibana and it is valid for 30 minutes so it says uh, when uh, we are starting elastic search for the first time security features are enabled and configured by default okay so we, when you will start elastic search at the first time so uh, this uh, text will be getting generated and uh, here uh, it will generate this password and this enrollment token so that we needed in order to start our elastic search further okay so let's see if we have extracted okay so it is extracted now so just go to bin directory and type cmd yeah that's it and uh, just hit elastic search dot bat enter so it, it is giving warning that ignoring java home this 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 is using bundle jdk that means uh, elastic search comes with a uh, by default open jdk so it does not require our uh, operating system jdk Yeah, so we got this password printed. 
this is the password okay so copy this go to notepad and uh, paste it here so you can see this uh, password for elastic user Th this is our password and then uh, this is the uh, enrollment token so this is uh, this is might required for uh, kibana installation and this we required for the secure access of uh, elastic search okay so user will be by default elastic one okay so this is a password so please note that uh, please note that into some file and save it okay so this is required later on so for now like you can stop and you have to add some configurations into elasticsearch.yml okay so go to elasticsearch.yml okay so here we need to edit some fields like uh, cluster name so cluster name will be simplifying tech okay then uh, so here uh, we need to make some changes so we don't need this expect security http ssl enabled so this is like enabled encryption for http uh, api client connections for such as kibana lock session agent so for now this uh, ssl is not required so you can make it false if you make it true then uh, we need to provide the proper ssl certificates so for now we are making as a false okay so let's save it and run it again okay so this is starting up so our cluster status is green but i think uh, we can see one exception also so this is related to goip databases so G goip is like uh, nothing but geographical data of uh, that particular location so in my location it is not supported i think so you can check here goip databases for elastic search okay so goip process adds the information about geographical location of uh, ipv4 and ipv6 okay so we can make it disable but for now i think it will work so there is a setting to make uh, this as a disable okay so this one ingest goip downloaded enable false this you can add into uh, your uh, elasticsearch.yml save it so you, you have to restart but in our case uh, i think uh, we can continue for now because this uh, elastic, uh, elastic cluster is green okay so how we can verify this so let's go to this and uh, type localhost colon 9200 yeah so it is asking for password okay so why because uh, in earlier version uh, greater than 8.5 or 8 so it will not ask for this password but here it is a mandatory so type elastic and whatever the string we have copied so this is the password at the first run of elastic search so copy this and paste it here yeah so we got it so here uh, like our uh, cluster name is a simplifying tech and uh, this version number is 8.5.3 and like uh, we got this elastic search started so moving further uh, we can install this kibana so meanwhile let's start configuring kibana also so right click on kibana setup and uh, do extract okay so our kibana is extracted so now we have to do certain things in order before uh, starting the kibana so go to kibana configuration file that is in config uh, kibana.yml file okay so here the three things we have to do one is like uh, we have to enable this port by default it's a 5601 only but still we will enable this port then we have to enable this host that is server dot host okay 
then we have to enable this elastic service the host this is fine this we can comment it we have to enable this and uh, then we need one token okay so kibana can be authenticated by using elastic search via service account tokens so we are using this token in order to authenticate the kibana okay so there are multiple ways so you can generate the <coughs> enrollment token also uh, by using that enrollment token also you can uh, connect to kibana by using this uh, service account token also we can generate the kibana uh, we can log into kibana okay so how to generate this so I have listed here okay so we need just this elastic service tokens create Kibana token okay so copy this so now go to the elastic search we need to generate the token go to bin so you can see here create enrollment token so we have to use this okay so go to CMD here okay okay so we have to use this file create elastic kibana my token 01 enter okay so our token is created so let's copy this and uh, just paste it in kibana.yml here service token okay so just like this save it and let's start the kibana also so go to kibana folder go to bin folder and uh, go to cmd here and kibana dot bat enter so this will start the kibana so for your information uh, let's see how to generate okay so this is the security apis where we need to create the token okay so this is the command line token generation uh, uh, document where we need to generate the elastic search service tokens so this is the basic command so how to use it so that is explained here so the following command creates the service token with the name of my token for elastic fleet server so instead of fleet server we are using kibana here okay so elastic service tokens create kibana and my token so this way we will generate the token for kibana yeah so elastic object kibana okay so our uh, kibana is uh, seems to be running on uh, this uh, 5601 port so let's verify this so now go to this and uh, type local host and 5601 this one okay so open new incognito mode uh, tab and just paste it here close earlier one Okay, so our Kibana is loading now. Okay, so here just we need to enter a username and password. So you can enter the elastic user one. So type elastic and password that is generated while first time of starting of elastic search. So go here. So this is the like a password where it is generated first time okay so this is the elastic password okay so this is generated while you are starting elastic search at the first time okay so we have copied the log here so just add it here and say login 
okay so it is getting logging okay so it is saying welcome to elastic start by adding integration okay so here you can say explore my own okay so we got this uh, screen where like uh, this is the kibana visualization tool where at the left hand side we can find the different different tabs so now uh, you can explore the all tabs but uh, here we are interested into dev tools so go to dev tools yeah so this is the like uh, kibana dashboard where we can visualize the data so what we can do so we, we can list the number of indices i have presently so there is one command to do that okay so get cat indices okay so we got 200 there is a nothing to show so we just need to add the data so for adding the data so you can refer the elastic search documentation to get the sample data okay so this is like a basic documentation where uh, we can have we can create the indices we can add the data by creating index and uh, json objects so you can do this okay so copy this to kibana okay so this is the doc one okay so you can say result is created so one document is created successful is one so let's now post the bulk records so this is the customer index and we are inserting the data into the bulk okay in bulk format so this is the customer index and this is the document number one we have created index and we have inserted the data so likewise uh, we can create uh, multiple records so you can see these are the first name and last name so just hit the enter so four records need to be created here okay so we got the like uh, method must be one of the case insensitive okay and receive dot okay okay let's verify if uh, record is getting created so do get customer search okay so we have three records like uh, jennifer walters this is the first record then uh, this uh, monica this is the second we have two records with the monica okay okay so now all records are getting created so let's verify this yeah so in customer there are total six record one is repeated and uh, yeah so we got everything okay so now let's uh, uh, so now let's uh, so now let's see what are the number of indices which is which are there into the system so we have this uh, customer index currently so we haven't created any system index so in 8.5 it will not show the system blank index or system index okay so only created index it is showing yeah so this way like uh, we can visualize the data also so here like uh, you can see this is the data that we have inserted if you want to see the schema then you can see the schema also schema means uh, no, data types okay so first name is a text like this you can see the number of count of records or objects so we have six objects in our uh, customer index so this way we can uh, uh, install uh, a kibana also and uh, we can embed this with uh, elastic search and we can uh, able to visualize the data so you can explore this uh, kibana section where like uh, we we can do stack monitoring and okay so this is the cluster overview and in, in the stack management we can see cluster overview so we have like uh, 8.5.3 version 
so up time is a uh, four hours not four hours okay so so this is the node this uh, java hip space the, these are indices uh, these are including system indices but that is not currently shown up and kibana status is healthy requests and uh, instances so this way we can monitor the cluster health also here and uh, you can explore more about kibana yeah so so as a summary so we have seen uh, like uh, how we can install uh, elastic search and kibana on the secure service uh, layer where like uh, you can able to log into elastic search and kibana and we can able to visualize the data in the elastic search via kibana visualizations okay so stay tuned for uh, further interesting sessions so we will see how we can configure the log stash also it is a like a elk stack one of the elk component that is a log stash that we can uh, configure and see for 8.5 version and we, we will explore more about the uh, security patterns or uh, security things into newly uh, that is newly introduced uh, into elasticsearch 8.5 okay so stay tuned please subscribe to our channel and thanks a lot for watching